Hey guys, it is Moonsault Stables and I am back with another Briarfest haul video. If you haven't already seen my videos showing my ticket models or my grab bag horses, please go ahead and check those videos out and then come right on back to this one. In this video, we are going to be unboxing my store specials and my pop-up tent models. So without further ado, let me go ahead and get this started. All right, so as far as my pop-up models go, I am going to start with the plush, which is little Mackenzie. All right, here is adorable little Mackenzie. If you saw my grab bag video, you'll know that I am obsessed with these plushies. They are so cute. And this was one that I definitely had to get. This was actually my very first purchase of Briarfest was this cute little plush. I love it. It's so cute. Let's see, where's his number? 755 out of 1000. He is so cute and soft. I love him. And I love this little scarf and hat. Oh, he's cute. This is adorable. I am so glad I was able to snag one of these. It was really hard to get any of the store specials or the pop-up tent models all during Briarfest, which I totally get it. There were a lot of people online and when there's only a thousand of a lot of these models, that made it really tough to get. So I do consider myself very lucky that I was able to obtain these guys. And oh, this plush is so cute. I have to find a way to display all my Briar plushies because I have a couple Valentine's ones and now I have three Briarfest ones and I love them so much. And now up next, we have Green Man. I know this is a decorator that a lot of people either loved or hated. There wasn't a lot of in between. I did fall into the category of, I do genuinely love this guy, but he was one that I kept kind of flip-flopping on. I didn't know if I wanted to actually buy him or not. But then on the, I believe it was the last day of Briarfest, I believe it was on Sunday, he was available, he was available for quite a while, so I was just like, you know what, I'm gonna add him to my cart, so I bought him, so we'll unbox him and see what he's like in person. And before I do all that unboxing, look at this cool box design. I know there are a ton of other YouTubers that show off their boxes, so I tend to not do that quite as much, but I do really like all these Celtic Fling boxes, they're really nice. But anyways, let's get this guy open. All right, here is my little green man. He has some really big splatters on him. And again, I have not watched any haul videos at this point. I think I've watched maybe one or two haul videos where they've been like ticket models. So I don't know of any variations on any of these models. I don't even know what the surprise model is at this point. So. This is just really cool to be able to open these up for the first time and just, oh, it's so fun. So I am excited to see kind of what variations might exist on Green Man. Because again, mine have very big, very kind of circular splatters. I imagine there's a lot of people that may have more random splatters, tiny splatters, or ones that may even have just models that are almost all white but I do actually really like this guy. He's actually really nice. This detailing is actually pretty impressive. I was a little bit worried about the detailing because it's mostly just like the decals. And sometimes those can tend to peel off a little bit, but these look like they're even more masked on as opposed to decals. So he's actually really cute. And this is my first one on this Classics mold. I do like him. I'll have to find a place to display him. I don't know where everything's gonna go on my shelves at this point, but we will figure that out when we get to that point. So let's move on to the next model. And up next, we have Era in his cute little tiny box. I love this box. I do prefer when Briar uses like the satin bags, but the boxes are cute, so it makes up for it. So let me go ahead, open this guy on up from his cute little tiny box. As much as I love the box, I'll probably save the box, but I want to free him. All right. These stable mates are harder to open from their boxes than they should be, but <laughs> here is 
little era, our little green decorator with his Celtic knots. Very nice looking, very cool green and gold clear wear. I do like him. He's really nice. Look at that cute little face. It is a little weird with just like the black dots as eyes, but he's still cute. I do love little stable made decorators. I know I can't do much with them, like show them or anything, but they are still super cute. And I love that very nice like clear tail. That's really cool looking. All right, so let's get this little cute guy out of the way and on to our next one, which is more Stable Mates. Here's the next one, which is our Stable Mates collection, which is the best of Briarfest. So these are little Stable Mates designed after full scale raffle models. This is another one that I wanted, but then I saw the price of it and I was, oh, that price was rough. I, I was expecting closer to about $30 to $40 for this box. Ended up being $60, which I still have a hard time justifying, especially where last year we had the uh, Stablemate set with the 10 models in it for $60. <laughs> so <laughs> the price was a little bit rough to justify, but I ended up just saying, you know what, I'm going to get it. I'm going to regret it if I don't. So I was able to snag one. So let me go ahead, open this up, and we can look at each of these individually. All right, so we're gonna start off. This one is Gale, inspired by Windswept from 2006. This one is probably my least favorite in the set, just because I don't care for this mold very much. Also, I don't know if it's the same with everybody else's, but these are like weird and like oily on them, so. <laughs> I don't know if like maybe like they didn't the finish didn't cure all the way or the way they put them in the boxes because they're kind of weird and slick feeling so I'll have to watch some other haul videos and see if anybody else's stable mates are like this but but yeah here is Gale again least favorite in the set just because the mold but the color is actually really nice I'm very impressed by this nice little like curly mane and tail and just really really nice masking on that Appaloosa pattern which is really impressive for stable mates. So yeah she is very nice. I was thinking of possibly selling her but I may keep her for a little bit see if she grows on me because again she is very nice and detailed. And up next, we have Durham, which is inspired by Carlisle from the 2008, no, 2012 raffle, because he was from the Best of British. He's another pretty cute one. His color is actually really nice in person. I'm really impressed by how the color came across. In Briar's photos, he looked kind of weird and orangey. <laughs> Whereas in person, he's definitely a little bit of a softer color. He actually has some dapples on him this side. They look a little bit funky, but they're not bad, especially for a stable mate. And his masking definitely isn't bad at all. He's got just a little bit of a masking boo-boo right there, but definitely not bad. And this is another case of a mold I don't really care for, but the color is actually really nice. All right, up next, let's see a glossy. In Kochab, Kochab, Kochab. I don't know how that's pronounced and I do apologize, but he is based on North Star from 2019. He is very cool and glossy. This was a case of one that I didn't really care for the actual raffle model, but I do like the stable mate quite a bit more. I wish his mane was a little bit lighter, but that's a very small gripe I have. I do love his color overall. It's very different, which is cool to have. And it's a cute little mold. I mean, the mold isn't necessarily my favorite. He's a little like weird and skinny and kind of tippy, but he's not bad, he's cute. Cute little face. 
I know they're based on the raffle models and the raffle model didn't have like a face marking, but I do wish he had like a little like blaze or something like that. I think that would be cute. But yeah, there is that guy. And up next we have, this one is Victoire and he is based off of K. Sera Sera from uh, 2015 of Evil of France Briar Fest. He is one that when I saw him in photos, I just thought the plastic was very, very white. But now that I'm looking at him closer, it looks like he's actually base coat chalky, which makes his pattern really stand out. And he's got some really nice shading on his flanks too. It's that nice kind of chocolatey shading. So he's not just black and white. I actually like him quite a bit more in person than I thought I would. His pattern on this side is really nice, really cool and intricate. I'm actually really impressed with him. He's cute. And again, I love cute face markings like this. So there he is, little Victoire. And finally, we have Viaje based on the Ahero from 2008. This one is definitely the most intricate pattern of all these little stable mates. And it actually looks really nice. Again, he's got just a couple little masking boo-boos here and there, but definitely nothing major. It looks like there's like a little bit of a mix up right there, but that is totally fine. He's cute. He's got little kissy spots. He's cute. I do like him. He's got tricolor eyes too. I know my camera is not going to pick that up because I barely noticed. But he has tricolored eyes, which is really cool, especially on a stable mate. And I do like this mold too. He looks really good in this color. I do wish the little stable mates said Briarfest on their bellies, but I can understand that Briar can't really do that on something this small, so that is fine. All right, there are my Best of Briarfest stable mates. I'm excited to see what Briar does next year for their raffle model stable mates. So without further ado, now that those are done, I will go on to my very last model, which is a store special this time. And last, but most certainly not least, my last model for this video is my store special Favala or Cheesecake, who is so cute. I watched all the videos on Cheesecake. I thought he was just the cutest thing. I know this model was really tough to get. A lot of people were trying so hard to get him. It was being taken from their carts. And that was the same with me. I had him in my cart and then taken, I think four or five times before I was able to snag him. I did snag him on, I believe it was Friday evening, so that was good just to get that out of the way so I didn't have to worry about him again. I didn't get any of the other store specials, but I only wanted cheesecake just because this color is just to die for. I am obsessed with this color. I love, I know I've said this in past videos, but I love double dilute colors and cream dilutions and anything like that. So. I was really excited when he was announced, even though his mold isn't my favorite, he is a very fun color. So let me go ahead, open this guy up, and we can see him out of his box. And just look at that. Look at his little face. He's cute. Also, Briar included a catalog with, I think, every single one of my boxes. So that was fun. <laughs> I honestly didn't expect them to include catalogs with the Briarfest models, but that's fine. Y'all, I have not owned a model on this mold since it was originally released. I sold that model about three, four years ago, so I did not remember how heavy he was. So he has definitely got some substance to him, but he is cute. I love him. Again, he's got some wonky anatomy that doesn't quite work, but he is still super cute and this color is just gorgeous. I love just how cool and just subtle it is. 
I'm really hoping that next year, since the theme of Briarfest is horse of a different color, I'm really hoping we'll get to see more just crazy colors like this that we don't see on a lot of Briar models. I'm hoping to see more of the double dilutes, the cream dilutions, and just really cool colors like that. I'm super excited, especially just with how nice this guy turned out. He's got some really cute blue eyes. He's very adorable. Does he say Briar Fest? Yep. He says Briar Fest 2020 on his belly in that uh, Celtic font there. And you can see just a little bit of his coloring. It's easier to see definitely on his face. And hopefully this lighting works for seeing his color. I tried to get the best lighting to show off his color well, just because it's very hard to see and photograph. But he's cute. I am really glad I was able to snag one. I debated if I wanted a glossy one, decided against it, decided that just the matte one is fine, just because I feel like glossy doesn't show off light colors as, as nicely. A uh, Top Gun, I thought, looked the best in gloss, but he wasn't my favorite model, so didn't end up ordering any of the glossies, and Cheesecake was the only store special I ended up ordering, but I'm really happy with him. I think he's really nice. Again, I probably won't ever show him, but I just love having him. <laughs> he is really nice. Love him so much. Can't wait to put him on my shelves, figure out where he's going to go. And just, oh, I love him so much. I can't wait to see other unboxing videos of him to see if there's any actual variation in his coloring. And so there are my pop-up tent models along with my store special. Let me know down in the comments below which one of these guys is your favorite. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel, like this video, and hit the notification bell on my channel to be notified when I upload my next video, which will be my special runs, which includes two surprise models. So. Thank you so much guys for watching this video and I will see you next time.